Today on Mark Talks Finance, Brookfield Asset Management consider spin-off of asset management business. Brookfield Mall's spinning off asset management unit at up to a $100 billion valuation. Brookfield Wing spin-off of asset management unit. Now at the previous Brooklyn's earnings call and a letter to shareholders, the CEO of Brookfield Asset Management, Bruce Flat, teased the idea of a spin-off of his asset management division into a standalone operation. And here's an excerpt from the latest stakeholder letter. Our asset management business is now one of the largest and fastest growing scale alternative investment businesses globally. This, together with the added benefit of having the longest duration of annuity-like cash flows of any asset manager, means that it could now simply be separated from our capital. Its growth plan on its own is very compelling, as many of our strategies are still getting larger with each vintage and are compounding on each other. Now, to those not familiar, Brookfield Asset Management is one of the world's largest alternative asset management companies with headquarters in Toronto, Canada, and $688 billion of assets on the management as of 2021. Now, an alternative investment is any investment that is not stocks, bonds, or cash. You're probably familiar with some form of alternative investment like real estate or crypto or a hedge fund. So the next time you hear someone talk about looking into alternative investments, now you know what they mean. Now, Brookfield focuses its efforts on direct control investments in real estate, renewable power, infrastructure, credit, and private equity, and is well known for its investment in distressed securities, which are fledgling businesses. Now, Brookfield, or I'll just call it BAM from now on, has an exceptional track record of taking on these companies and your debt and turning them into thriving, profitable businesses that become part of the BAM umbrella. Now, because these alternative investments are not impacted by stock market movements or economic cycles, they're generally recession-proof, which is good, and they outperform inflation. Now, as far as the BAM company structure is concerned, it could get a little bit confusing and it could have its own video, but let's try and summarize it as simply as we can so we don't end up with like a 40-minute video here. So BAM structure is broken down into two main areas. The first area is asset management, which includes the asset management segment that focuses on achieving attractive investment returns through fee-bearing capital across a broad portfolio of real estate, infrastructure, renewable power, private equity, and credit. Now, this capital is managed within long-term private funds and also perpetual strategies and public securities. Now, in addition to this, the second area is invested capital, which includes the remaining operating segments, which are Brookfield Property Partners, which manages operation and development of core office, core retail, and other properties. Brookfield Renewable Partners, which manages operation and development of hydroelectrical, wind, solar, and energy transition power generating facilities. Brookfield Infrastructure Partners, which manages operation and development of utilities, transport, midstream, data, and sustainable resource assets. Brookfield Business Partners, which manages private equity operations, including a broad range of industries that are mostly focused on business services, infrastructure services, and industrials. Now, my guess on what the CEO is alluding to is probably spinning off the asset and investment management arm into its own entity so that it's no longer under the BAM umbrella and will operate independently. Now, this separate entity is projected to have a $100 billion valuation and trade at approximately 45 to 65 US dollars a share. Now, the main advantage of this is that this new company will be asset light and can focus solely on managing assets as a lot of analysts found it challenging to properly evaluate Brookfield since it was a combination of assets and operations with each segment having its own operating model. Needless to say that the proper evaluation of the company was no easy task and Flat believes that this was playing a part in undervaluation of the company as a whole. Speaking on the potential spinoff, Mr. Flat said, we're heading down a path and we're quite serious about it or we wouldn't have put it in the letter the way that we did. Now investors reacted positively to this news on February 10th with the shares jumping 9.3% before eventually cooling off over the next five days. Now, I believe this is the next area of growth in the company as Brookfield is a large entity and it makes sense to separate the asset manager from the rest of the business. As mentioned, this will make it easy to value the two entities separately and will also give investors a choice in which company they want to invest in. Now, I believe there's a long runway for Brookfield as a standalone asset management company based on the strength of its portfolio and its structure, especially when you consider that there will be no change to its revenue model, which includes investments in the other Brookfield operations. Now, there's no timetable on when this will occur or if they will formally go through with it, but the fact that this was included in the shareholder letter and discussed at the earnings call is a sign that this is a strategic move that is strongly considered. Now, if you look at the earnings growth record of the other publicly traded asset managers like BlackRock, this is evidence that a pivot to this space will make sense for Brookfield. And if you're an owner in the company, it's a good time to continue to follow the news 
as this appears to bode well for the future of the company. And if you're asking, is now a good time to buy Brookfield? Well, I can't answer that for you, but I do consider Brookfield to be one of those reliable, stable companies that you can invest in and sleep well at night. But you do you. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. I do appreciate the support. Drop a like down below if you found this video insightful or leave a comment and I'll be sure to respond. While you're at it, be sure to check out the video on your right. And with that said, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.